Oh, yo, my bad. I'm late, bro. Yo, you're good, man. No, you don't need to apologize. Where you been? What's nah, up? Nah, I would have been here sooner, man. My dealer was just taking forever. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Is, that, is it cool? Yeah, man, you're fine. It's just been, it's just been kind of tough lately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just... <laughs> I, I can't get her off my mind, man. Who? I didn't think you talked to women. Oh, yeah, no, I'm terrified of women, but like... <sighs> She's different, bro. She, I, she's different. Well, what happened? Why are you so down on yourself? I don't... I just haven't seen her in so long, man. I don't even know if she remembers that I exist. Look, bro, man to man, I think you need to just move on and forget about her. She's not worth your time, dude. Like, you're just wasting so much time and energy thinking about her 24-7. <sighs> yeah. If you ask me, I think you should just keep hustling and grinding with what you're doing. Don't, don't you have a YouTube video to edit? Oh, yeah, for sure. No, I'm working on that right now. I've just been addictively playing Clash Royale for the last couple days. Oh, you still play that game? What, uh, what deck you running? Deck? Oh, uh, no, I just, I just have the app installed so I can look at the Archer Queen's feet. Not gonna lie, man. I do the same thing. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. All right, well, I gotta go. I'll let you get back to editing. All right, man, take it easy. Thanks for being a homie. <clears throat> Anyways. After leveling up my team, I'm forced to help get rid of these pirates. Me, me, me. Unluckily for them though, my guys are leveled up closer to the next gym's level cap. <sighs> they got away guys. What are we gonna do? Split up? Yeah, okay, good idea, Roxy. I'll go to why why is your why is your dad important here? Yeah, of course they make the emo girl give me the HM for cut. Criminal scum, you cannot escape me. Magnificent! We shall battle at once! Meet me in the city, fair traveler. Toodaloo! Huh? Look, I'll battle you. I really don't care, but like, you really can't be that strong. Wait, he's powerful enough to bring back Roxy's dad. All right, bring it on, bitch. You can't take me. Mm, but I can go Snover. It, is this a joke? I'm afraid not, my friend. I'm dead serious. All right. What the fuck is that? What, my Lucario? Never mind, unhand the... Oh, good heavens, uh... Oh, Shelter! Look, we don't have to finish the battle if you don't want to. Nonsense! I still have a chance! Finish him off, Smoochum! You won't see this coming, fake out! Ha <laughs> ha Oh no, you're going to kill my Smoochum! Ah, fooled again! <laughs> the Focus Sash! Okay, even I must admit this is looking a little troubling for me. Just send out your last mon. <laughs> if you insist. However, I don't think you're ready. Get him, Cryogonal. Mmm, god fucking damn it. <laughs> well, at least you two are getting a chance to finally talk. <laughs> you just get abandoned a second time. <laughs> wow, look at me. Just a small town girl finally gonna live out my dreams in the big city. Wow. Oh, I love the smell of piss and sewage. This really does feel like New York. I'm gonna do a little exploring. I find yet another French clown that wants to give me this time a generation two starter. Now, strangely enough, I would typically say that Chikorita is dog shit ass and should never be used ever. Uh, but in this game, it's a uh, grass and fairy. So eh, I'll give it a shot. Welcome friend. This guy wants me to fight his grandson. Uh. To thank me for beating his grandson's ass, the man gives me an egg. And by egg, let's just say, I mean, my paintess. Yo, what up, man? Cool boat. Oh, it's not that small, man. True, dude, the size of the ship doesn't matter. It's about the motion of the ocean. Whee! Hello, strange man, suspiciously standing guard in front of this tower. How are you doing? I have a powerful aura. No, I just haven't showered in three days. I should probably mention that this game wasn't hard enough, so I just put on challenge mode. So now the trainers have slightly higher levels and uh, actual move sets and strategies. Pretty cool. I really just want to take down the Bufalant first because I don't want to deal with head smashing every turn. But it's quite the combo because the Loudrit just wants to spam Boom Burst and the Bufalant has soundproof. That's unfortunate. Lucario comes in though, it's fine. Aurasphere is going to put the Bufalant in the dirt. Loudrit just goes for a water pulse on my pseudo Voodoo, which is fine. We're just gonna return the favor with a stone edge. Blossom comes in, but the Loudrit's on one HP, so I'm just gonna hit him with a vacuum wave to finish him off, and then I'm going to fire punch the Blossom. But of course I don't get away with this because the Blossom is gonna get off a stun spore. Don't care, fuck you. Huge crit. 
I'm swapping Lucario out because he's pretty much useless when he's paralyzed. Uh, this Shed Ninja has a Focus Sash, so I need to hit him twice. I hit him this turn with a Fire Punch just to break the Focus Sash. And then this big fat bitch just starts Calm Minding. Next turn, Sucker Punch is going to take out the Shed Ninja pretty quick and easy. And then I'm just going to start chipping away at this Musharna. And it still really wants to set up some Calm Minds. You, you have fun with that. Musharna has no more teammates left, so a quick lunge and Stone Edge is enough to take it out. I guess I embarrassed this guy so bad that he just had to dip. This place is not creepy at all. Nice place, man. Victini. All right, I just need to get a general consensus from everyone. Uh, Pseudo Wudo. Does it make anyone else uncomfortable the way that he's moving? Comment down below, oil me up, father, if you agree. A couple fire punches will do the trick. All right, that's low enough HP. Hey ya! Hey ya! Motherfucker, I said, hey-ya! Please? You know what? I don't even want you. Damn, I thought that one would work. Hey-ya! <sighs> Stop. I can go all day. Victini, look, quick look behind you. Huh? All right, Victini, if you don't stay in the ball, you're gay. works every time. Wow, that battle was so intense, it reminded me of how in 1588, the British defeated the Spanish Armada. Anyways, this strange purple woman convinces me that it's a good idea to go play in the sewers. Let's get stinky. But apparently, Steven is a little nervous and he needs me to hold his hand. Ah, sewer pirates. Get out of here, these sewers belong to me. Ah, sewer friends. You guys wanna play in the raw sewage with me? No, 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 no. No, come back, friend. We have so much to talk about. I didn't even know that these gardens existed in the first place. Is are these new? Which of the evolutions is my favorite? Easy, elegant, and beautiful is one way to describe a Vaporeon. However, I prefer the term compatible. Well, it's gym time. And despite this being yet another gym of a useless type, it's pretty fun because you get to hop into these little pods and go, wee. If I were the gym leader here though, I would be pretty offended if the trainers I hired to stand guard in my gym defended me with a male combi. What's up, sewer man? You're bragging about a Vespa Queen and a Levon? Yeah, man, that's really something to flex. It's a double battle, so... Oh no, two bugs at once. I'm terrified. Surprisingly, an Aerial Ace from Ledian and a Flame Burst from Victini is not enough to take out the Masquerade. So those two just return the favor with a Mud Shot and an Electro Web, respectively. Because the Masquerade and the Motham are both faster than me now, uh, Victini is just going to die to a Bubble Beam and an Air Cutter, but my Ledian is going to stay alive to hit the Motham with an Aerial Ace. I bring in the Pseudo Wudo because he can just take out the Masquerade with a Sucker Punch, and I'm really just saving my heavy hitters for the last part of the fight. The Levani has a Focus Sash, so a Flame Burst is gonna bring it down to one. The Levani is also gonna go for a Swords Dance, funny enough, and the Motham is gonna try and slow us down with an Electro Whip. However, this doesn't matter because my Pseudo Wudo is just gonna beat the Levani to death. Excavalier comes in, which is kind of silly. Uh, Pseudo Wudo is just gonna Sucker Punch to take out the Motham, and then my Charmeleon is gonna do as much damage as he can to the Excavalier. However, he does have an Akaberry, so a Fire Move is not gonna one-shot him. He does go for a Razor Shell on my Pseudo Wudo, but it doesn't really matter. All Pseudo Wudo has to do now is just die. So the Heracross comes in, it's gonna Brick Break my Pseudo Wudo for the kill. However, I return the favor with a Blaze Kick into the Heracross. And because of my dragon typing, the Excavalier cannot kill me with a Razor Shell. Yeah, I should also mention that every time uh, Charmeleon's stats are lowered, Defiant boosts. So yeah, safe to say he can just pretty much one-shot anything on the other side. No, don't intimidate me. Oh, no. OJ isn't going to do much. We're just going to try and fish for a paralysis with Dragon Breath, but we don't get it. However, a Blaze Kick is going to kill the Excavalier with no issues whatsoever. And by no issues whatsoever, I mean my Servine is getting one shot. F. What's wrong, sewer man? You feel like you're in trouble? Eat shit.
Let's go, we got the sewer badge. I never really explored these streets. So this is apparently where Berg's artwork is? Wow, fascinating. Well, we made it to the desert route finally. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything here, but you know, it's progress at least. I meet this cool scientist guy who just tells all of the crustle that are blocking the path to fuck off. Of course he wants to battle though. This guy's gotta be tough. Uh oh. Well, thanks for the life orb. I will catch you later. Now, there's just like a little bit of desert ruins here that I get to explore, and there's nothing interesting here. However, there is a static braviary encounter. It's pretty cool. Honestly, this guy looks like he'd be a Carl. There's also the desert resort, which doesn't have a lot to offer me currently. I know I can get a Volcarona here later. There's also the fossil reviver lady, but I don't really care about getting any fossil mons right now. So, ooh, this place looks fancy. Yo. Oh, I need to be like this guy. This guy's got bitches. Oh, I, I don't want to manage this shit. No. Ugh. A phrase that I'd use to greet everyone. What will I say when something truly moves my heart? <laughs> you can't say that. How should you address me? It's simple, really. That's my name, don't wear it out. Okay, I need to get the fuck out of here. All right, we made it to Nimbasa, that's pretty cool. Is this, oh, there's a little cutscene. Wait, you want a bat? No, I wasn't ready for, oh, come on, man. Because the Gigalith set up a sandstorm, uh, this Stoutland has sand rush and is gonna be incredibly fast. Uh, I'm just gonna hit the Gigalith with a leaf tornado. And because I didn't expect a double battle to be here, uh, I'm sorry, Charmeleon, you just kinda have to die. Oh, he lives on one! My hero! Never mind. I whip out my Petis. Thankfully, the Stoutlin misses his play rough, and I could just take out the Gigalith this turn with a Leaf Tornado. However, my Petis uh, just misses the Stone Edge, so you win some, you lose some. I let my superior take the play rough because I don't want to swap anything into it. Luckily for me, the Machamp goes for a Cross Poison, which does nothing to my pseudo Wudo, which allows him to actually land the Stone Edge. Insane crit! I hit the Machamp with an Aerial Ace, and let me just say, it's a critical hit, but man, Ledian is a champ. The Unpheasant goes for a Hurricane to hit my Ledian, but Ledian is just so beefy and tanky that we live that shit. Oh, and Pseudo Budo once again is acting useless. A Sucker Punch and an Aerial Ace act for some chip damage, however, the Unpheasant is gonna kill my Ledian. But an Unpheasant up against two Rock types, yeah, you're not winning this fight. Oh, you just lose and you're gonna dip? All right, asshole. Hey, right, what's up, man? Have I heard of a Pokemon called Zorark? Yeah, I have. Oh, thanks for the TM, I guess. Hey, if you see uh, any Zorark in the area, though, let me know because I fucking hate those guys. Hey, what the fuck? Get your ass back here. I lost him. I couldn't catch up to him. I'm just trying to explore the surrounding routes before I do the gym, but uh, hey, Bianca, what's up? Oh, yeah, I'll take fly. Yeah, I've heard of hidden grottos before. I, I know how to find them. Are you okay? Or... Oh, you heard one? Oh, there must be a grotto over there. Yeah, let's go find it. Yeah, I actually see it to the right, right over there. Yeah, it, it's over here. You're standing right next to it. Are you... Yeah, yep. You, you passed it. Uh-huh. Yep. There you go. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, yeah, cool, a Stantler. Trash. Oh, aren't these the subway bosses? Ah, fuck it, I guess we're doing a double battle. Chandelure protects turn one, but that's fine because I just wanted to fake out the Electros anyways, and my do-up partner actually just goes for some damage on the Electros. Power-up punch on the next turn is enough to kill the Electros, I don't even think the critical hit mattered, and the Chandelure goes for a hex on my partner rather than me. I'm not gonna complain, kill his guys, not mine. Ooh, but the Razor Shell on the Chandelure is very nice. A power-up punch on the Umbreon is gonna do quite a chunk of damage. And just another hex on my partner. Okay. A foul put on my partner. Okay. Yeah, no, don't hit me. Don't hit. I'm not I'm not the threat. It's him. 
A rock tomb on the chandelier is going to be enough to take it out, and my partner Simi Seer is able to take out the Umbreon with a crunch. It has Psychic Gem to boost its Psychic move, so I might die. Never mind, just kill my partner. And then I just go for a Rock Tomb because it's the only thing that isn't resist. Oh, and it just kills. Okay, Metacham is fair and balanced. I don't even know if there was a point to doing that battle, but a win is a win. Apparently, I got to find the gym leader in this little roller coaster room. Oh, oh, wee. Oh my god, whoa! Come to find out that I only went through this little amusement park for nothing. Not gonna complain though, it's kind of fun. Gym time, baby! Yo, this beat kind of hard. You want me to run the catwalk? I got you. Show me what you got. Oh, that was a cool spin. Too bad you're trash. And the crowd goes crazy! Ah! Yeah, get out of here. Let me just like work this catwalk real quick. Show me your moves. Oh, 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 okay. You're still trash. The crowd, it's, they're going ballistic. I was born to be a model. Hit me with it. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh my God. The back to back. If only you weren't trash. Who's next? Oh. Oh my God, I can't compete with that. Just kidding, I'm here to beat your ass. For the first time this playthrough, we have a triple battle. Fake out the Electivire because it has an additional fighting type added to it and it's annoying as shit. The Lantern has a bunch of spread moves as it sits in the middle, so I'm gonna try and take it out as quickly as possible. An Air Slash from the Amalga is gonna make my Meganium flinch, and the Lantern is gonna go for an Icy Wind. However, I have Contrary on my Superior, so every time it does this, I'm just getting faster. I go for a Leaf Tornado on the Lantern, however, it does live on 1 HP. Meanwhile, the Amalga goes for an Air Slash on my Meganium, which ends up killing it. An Ice Punch comes out from the Electivire, so sadly, my Superior falls as well. The Lantern goes for an Icy Wind, but Metacham doesn't really care about speed at this point. However, a Zen Headbutt is going to cleanly take out the Electivire. Sucker Punch from Pseudo Wudo is going to take out the Lantern, and a Blaze Kick is going to do some good chip to the Zeb Strika. Zeb Striker returns the favor by wild charging my Metacham, however, it's not enough to kill it. This charge comes out from the Amalga, and luckily for me, Charizard and Sudowoodo both avoid paralysis. Meanwhile, Metacham can go for the Rock Tomb and take out the Zeb Striker. This Raichu has extreme speed, so it's able to take out my Metacham before anyone can do anything about it. Charizard Blaze kicks the Stunfisk for a little bit of damage. The Amalga misses an Air Slash, which is pretty big, but my Pseudo Wudo is able to land the Stone Edge. The Amalga lives on one because it has a Focus Sash, however, I'm not worried because I can just Sucker Punch it the next turn. Stunfist goes for a Muddy Water, but it's not gonna do too much, so I'm not that worried about it. As I just said, a Sucker Punch will take out the Amalga. Another Blaze Kick into the Stunfisk is gonna take it down to one, and a Psy Shock into the Raichu slot is gonna do a good chunk of damage. Somehow, the Raichu knows Ice Go Crash? Earth Power from the Stun Fist comes out onto my Pseudo Wudo, which is definitely going to kill it. However, Victini outspeeds both of the Mons on the other side, and a Flame Burst is going to be enough to take both of them out at the same time. Bro, triple battles are so chaotic. Ooh, the TM for Volt Switch, though. Kind of fire. Yes, bitch, I'm feeling fabulous. I'm also tired as fuck. I need to go outside. Wobble de wobble de wop wobble wobble. Stack stack in my paper. My wallet look like a Bible. 